Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tide Lab. Today, let's make a Desert Southwest geode. The sherp was prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. To begin, I'm finding an area where I like for a center of a geode to be. Then I'm gonna pinch that area and lift the shirt up off of the table, slide my hand down to the bottom where I'd like the bottom of that geode to be and start tying from the bottom. By the way, when I grab the shirt, I'm only grabbing a single layer of shirt. I'm tying the lines of the geode from the bottom out toward the center of the geode. And I don't wanna keep my shirt really nice and tidy. I want to kind of rough it up periodically because the more wrinkles and unusual shapes in the shirt when I'm tying it, the more natural the geode's going to look. As I get closer to the end or the center of the geode, I'm going to keep messing with that area, kind of tuck some of the bits and pieces of the fabric in and try to make it as messy as possible. I'm also varying the amount of lines that I put in each geode and I am varying the distance between the lines. Truthfully, the less perfect you try to make each geode, the more natural it looks. After I've completed this geode, I'm going to continue the process all over the shirt until the majority of the shirt is covered in geodes. You can put as many or as few as you'd like on a shirt. I personally like to put less geodes and just make them a little bit bigger. Some people like to put a whole lot of little bitty geodes on a shirt, and it just is a personal preference thing. I've got geodes tied all over the shirt, but there is a little bit of space left in between where all the geodes meet. To help the shirt lay a little bit flatter and to give some dimension into that area, I'm going to tie some sinew lines in there too. By the way, I'm using sinew to tie this design because the wax coating on the artificial sinew is going to not allow any of the dye to go under that area which is gonna give the white definition lines in the shirt. After I'm finished tying the shirt, I'm gonna set it aside for a few days and allow it to dry out completely. If you'd like a little bit more information about why I do this, I have a blog post on my website which discusses this topic in further detail. Basically, it's so that I can get better color saturation in the middle of the geodes. I'm gonna ice dye the shirt, so I'm gonna make myself an ice barrier out of some silicone cake molds. 
I have a link down below in the description for where I purchased the cake molds. After attaching the cake molds together, I'm going to wrap them around the shirt and then use some wooden clothes pins, which I'm going to attach to the metal rack to hold the silicone cake molds up close to the shirt. These silicone cake molds are great to fit around these strange type geode shirts. Then after I'm finished using them, I can just wash them off really well and reuse them. Before I start adding the dye to the top of the geode, I'm going to take a spray bottle that's filled with soda ash solution and lightly spritz the top of this geode. That is going to help hold the dye on the shirt just a little bit better. I don't want a whole lot of it to fall off into the bottom of the container. Then I'm going to just randomly add the dye colors to various sections of the shirt. I'm also going to add little bits of color to that center section where I added a few sinew lines where all of the geodes kind of meet. So as I was pulling colors for this shirt, I went a little overboard. I found a whole lot of colors and I thought, oh, well this one would look cool and so would this one. And by the time I was finished, I had quite a pile of different colors. So I have them listed down below, but let me give them to you here. I'm using Oxblood Red from Dharma, Barn Red from Pro Chemical, Terracotta from Dharma, Amber Waves, Palomino Gold, Brazil Nut, Khaki, Bronze, Golden Brown, Heads or Teals, and Kingfisher Blue, all from Dharma, Marine from Pro Chemical and Dye, Crappy Scrappy from Grateful Dyes, Timberwolf from Dharma, Hot Chocolate from Pro Chemical, Dutch chocolate from Dharma, harvest wheat from Pro Chemical, and then over the top of the entire thing, I'm going to use Ecru from Dharma. I warned you that I pulled a lot of colors. Now I'm going to add a small sprinkle of dry soda ash over the top and then add a layer of ice.
Over the top of the ice, I'm going to add a generous sprinkle of ecru, which is a Dharma color that isn't really dark. It kind of has a little bit of an olive cast to it, but I use it mainly to add a little bit of dimension to geodes and to fill in any gaps that there might be in the color. I set the shirt aside and I allowed the ice to melt. And after the ice melted, I added about two more layers of ice. So three layers of ice total to this shirt. After the third layer of ice melted, I allowed the shirt to process for at least 24 hours. And for part of that time, I placed a lid over the top of this container and set the shirt outside where it was really hot, like over 100 degrees. Then to rinse the shirt, I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Then I untied the shirt and continued rinsing until the water was rinsing almost clear. Then I put the shirt, along with some Dharma's textile detergent, into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. I dried it like normal in the dryer and this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this one looks really cool. I definitely think it has a Desert Southwest vibe to it. And I think all the colors work really well together. I tried to choose some darker shades of red. Terracotta has got more of an orange feel to it mixed with the gold colors and the browns. I just think it all works together. I also really love the variations in color in this shirt. The way that one color is a little darker in spaces and lighter in spaces, I think that variation makes the geodes look more natural and it just gives a little bit more interest to the shirt. So I really like this shirt and if you've enjoyed watching the video of this shirt, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.